Hello guys, welcome back. So let me ask you guys a question. What do you use to transfer your files between your devices? Be it from your phone to phone, phone to your PC, PC to your desktop, etc. Hmm, let me guess. Files by Google, Exender, or just 12 adapters lying around to transfer a single file? Well, today I found a universal file sharing system to make your life much easier. So without any further ado, let's get straight into the video. If you want to skip ahead to the process before I explain what the app is about slash what you will be using for context, you could skip ahead to the timestamp in the description or just stick around. Snapdrop, an open source wireless file sharing app built just like Apple's AirDrop, where you could share files between Apple devices with a single tab, but now you could do that between all your devices. This basically works on your browser to make things convenient and simple. This website is free to use and costs absolutely nothing. This runs through your local network and regardless of your operating system, it will work. Also, one more thing, this works only when both the devices are connected to the same local network. Now enough of talking, I'll show you all the features while I start showing you how this works. Now with that out of the way, I'll show you how to use Snapdrop. To start with, open snapdrop.net on both of the devices you are wishing to transfer files between. Snapdrop.net I'll just show the same on my phone too. Here I have it mirrored and I'll open snapdrop. As you can see, snapdrop instantly de detects the device and you are ready to go to start sharing files. I'll just try sharing a file from my Mac to the phone. You just click on the icon and you just select and share your files. Now once the transfer is complete, you will see a notification saying the transfer is complete on the main device and if you go on to your device you are receiving, you can see a message named file received. Also here is a little checkbox saying ask to save each file before downloading. You can disable this if you are sending, if you are sending files on a bulk. I will just disable this and you can either ignore or save the file. I will save the file. It's downloaded. Click on open to view the file. Now I just showed you how to do this on a laptop to phone but it's the same between any devices like laptop to phone, phone to laptop etc. I will show the same on the phone. Now here you can see the same dialog box you seen on you seen before. You can save the file or ignore it. I will save the file and show in finder to save it. Also, you could right click to send a quick message. Hit send and you will receive a notification on the other device. You can either close the window or you can copy it. I will close it. Also, you could click on the moon crescent here to turn on dark mode and click it back to turn on light mode. Here, you can see the info. Snapdrop, the easiest way to transfer files across devices. If you like the project, you can fund it via PayPal and here is the link to the GitHub project. As you can see, everything is open source and also your files won't be saved in the Snapdrop servers for your privacy. Even the server's content is open source in, in these files if you wanna check. Also, one more little thing to note. There is no native app for either Android, iOS, Windows or Mac but you could install a progressive web app which is like a Chrome based application. I already made a video about that which I link to in the description or in the top right corner as in form of cards. But there are some custom clients for Android like this one which you can install which does the same functionality but it is not official and it might have some bugs. I'll show you the PWA method. 
In the top right corner, you can see a install app icon. Click on that and hit install. It will install the app and close the close the websites tab from your Chrome window and opens the app. It does the same functionality but you could access it right from your file explorer or spotlight search or launchpad without having to open the website every time you want to transfer files. Snap drop and hit in enter. It will open this window. I know this video is a little bit lengthy but I hope you learned something new and interesting. If you have any queries, feel free to ask me in the comment section. Also, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe to my channel. We'll catch you in the next one. Until then, bye-bye.